Adrian made this. Hello there. It's me again. The Crocodile Horn. <laughs> What's up with it? It's your boy McFly, man. The hardest working man in shoe tame of the day. Coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over in Atlanta, McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, man. Become a frequent flyer. Join the winning team, man. We out here grinding. Current goal set, we're trying to hit 1,000 subs by July 1st. So if everybody hit that sub button, that notification bell, bro, we get it done. You know what I'm saying? I am the hardest working man in shoe tamer. Ain't nobody working how I'm working, doing what I'm doing, dropping how I'm dropping. Ain't nobody fresh as I'm is. Shout out to Bow Wow. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, man. But um, at any rate, as you can see, we got a box, man. And this particular box here came from StockX. Now, y'all know now how I feel about StockX and gold. And if you don't know, I got a couple videos that'll let you know um, why I stopped uh, buying shoes from gold and why I almost stopped buying shoes from Stock X. I'll be sure to link both of those so you guys can watch them at your leisure whenever you get time or whatever. So um, I guess uh, SOE was here not too long ago and uh, we went and vlogged it and whatnot. And um, on the way out, we ended up impulse buying uh, some inertia 700s, you know. We saw them, the thirst hit, and uh, we StockX had a little bit cheaper prices than um, than uh, SOE had, so we went ahead and hit the StockX. Um, her pair showed up first. My pair is still en route, but we're gonna use this one for the review. 700 inertia, straight up, straight like that. Uh, boom, really been digging the 700s, the Wave Runners, the OGs, whoo, the first ones were dope. Uh, that's the only other one that I own, but uh, these, these are clean, and I was, I was on the fence about them for a while, but after seeing them up close and in hand, I'll get to that in a minute when we get to the spin around, but uh, StockX card, all that good stuff. Stock X sticker right there. There should be a receipt in here somewhere. Ah, yeah, there it is. Receipt right there. I ain't gonna turn it around because some of y'all got super zooms and shit. But uh, yeah, yeah. Stock X tag. Whoop, whoop. So let's go ahead and buckle down. Fasten your lap belts, man. Let's take flight. Got you locked and loaded on this size tag for all my real verse fakers out there. Like I said, this pair did come from um, good old Stock X, and my pair is in route. Ah, 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 ah. Typical Yeezy 700 box. You got your tan paper in there. All your little Stock X stuff. But I do not see that little small quality control sticker that you get with a lot of Adidas. They may not come in the 700s. I'd have to check my pair to see. <clears throat> but that little small um, white sticker, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you've seen any of my past Adidas videos. But at any rate, I don't know what that was. Uh, shoe time, boom, boom, boom. Boy, listen, that thing is magnificent. 
Actually, I saw those um, geodes the other day. Social Status still had a pair of geodes in there. And I had to hit up Retro Wiz Kid and was like, man, bro, you wasn't lying. I thought them geodes was trash, but after seeing them in hand up close, up close, those wasn't bad. But um, these, when I initially saw them, they had like this bluish hue to them. And I was like, yo, if that shoe is like blue like that, I'm copping that joint. I gotta have it. But then the official images and stuff surfaced and the shoe looked gray. So I was like, nah, I'm passing on that. I don't need another gray shoe. But if it had that grayish bluish tint to it, I would have bought it. But I hadn't seen the shoe until SOE. And then I saw it and I was like, yeah, I, I need that. Those pictures were deceiving. And really the Yeezy, to me, the Yeezy 700 is like the only shoe that you can see a picture of it and it looks nothing like the picture when <laughs> when you get in the hand. Like, I, I can't explain it, bro. But these shoes, the Geos look different in hand. These inertias look different in hand. Um, the OG Wave Runners, they didn't. But, you know, it's, it's just a trip, man. So I guess we'll go ahead and get into it. And um, these shoes are dope, man. I love the 700 model. I like the 350s better, I can't front. But when it's right, it's right. Stock X tag, you see you got the real Stock X scan thing right there. Not that little bobo black and white thing that the reps be having. Um, coming into your toe cap, you got that light blue portion here with the mesh underlays. Like this shoe isn't really gray at all. This is like a light blue shoe. I don't know, like here looking at the screen on my camera, it looks like it's kind of like a wolf gray, but it ain't. It's, it's like a light blue. Hopefully the um, on foot will bring that out a little more. You've got your 3M pods here, as well as your 3M pink pods there on your lateral side. Wrapping around to the back, you've got that suede with some more mesh on here. Your uh, flat laces, mesh tongue, all that good stuff. I truly commend Kanye West for just putting a bunch of random stuff on a shoe. Like his, just how he thinks and how his, his visuals are just crazy, like for how this shoe looks. You see that nice thick midsole, uh, boost technology. Then you got that cream outsole. It's not white, it's cream. So even if this gets dirty, it wasn't white to begin with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's cream, man. And you got that boost in there and just, y'all already know how I feel about boost, but whoops. <laughs> 700, bro is a hit. These inertias are dope. They're probably my second favorite behind um, the OG Wave Runners. Um, are you guys copping those Vantas or the other black joints that's dropping in June? Man, there's some more rolling out. I'm probably passing on both, but I do need those uh, black 350s. Either the um, reflective pair or the non-reflective. I don't care. I just want one or the other of them. Oh, I forgot. Insoles are gray with the blue Adidas sign in there. Same thing on that one, bam, bam. So you guys can see it. You got your two little tags on here. Bam, and bam. You know, and in my opinion, man, this shoe looks good. Don't see any flaws on it, um, or none of that. If you guys know anything about these or you see anything wrong with this shoe, please let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Some of you guys may be more versed in Yeezy than I am, but you know, you can't never be too careful dealing with um, StockX and GOAT or whatnot. And I normally won't buy a shoe off of either of those platforms unless I have an authentic pair to compare it to. Because you never know, it's getting tricky out here, man. Y'all seen them fakes, y'all know what the game is like and buying resale, but ain't nothing to be played with no more. Travis Scott's is a prime example. Tons of people out here walking around with fake Travis Scott's. But whoever uh, bought that pair, whoever got that pair that I sold, you good. You know what I'm saying? You good, shout out to Nike. Straight up. But that's pretty much it, man. There's nothing left to do but to get into this on foot. And uh, yeah, let roll.